members. Um, given the time constraints, I'll keep my comments relatively brief. I have a few minutes spread out, but uh, I think we've got a lot of people in the front that would like to speak to the board, and so I'd like to give them more time. Um, one of the things I learned, by the way, I graduated in 2007. I graduated here in San Marcos, but I did go to school in Texas. So I have some idea of what the issues we're facing. Not all, and as I get older, I'm not going to understand them as well as I used to, but you know, it's about to get older. <laughs> One of the things I learned in school, and I think every teacher in this district is going to agree with me, you cannot solve a problem until you understand what it's asking for. And I worry that we haven't understood the problem. What's the problem for our district? Well, we had the AIS study, I believe it's called. And one of the things that came out with was the fact that we have a college readiness rate of about 37%. I don't know which, I, I think San Marcos follows the same rule. 37% isn't just failing, it's a very bad grade that gives you rent, no rent home to your parents about. We have uh, an issue uh, with our, in terms of, in terms of test scores on, on, on tax and now on STAR, we're not improving. We're going in cycles. We're improving one year, and then we're coming back down the next year. And then we're improving one year, and then we're coming back down the next year. I don't think we understand the problem we have in this district. And because of that, I don't think we can propose a serious solution here. The first thing we talked about wasn't about classroom improvements. It wasn't about TA requirements. It was about a marketing study done about how much a bond election would have to be in order to get the voters to support it. And the number they came with was 90 million, and so the bond election we have now is about 88 million. I don't think we can solve this problem for our district until we understand the problem, until we understand the problem. And we haven't done due diligence to understand the problem we have in our district. Let's not rush into the wrong solution. Thank you.